Linen broil is not a cut of beef, but a cooking method that traditionally uses top round. We have named our top round steak after this technique. This cut is a little tough and takes the marinade well, but because ours is full blood wagyu, it is extra tender. Our linen broil steaks are an inch and a half and 10 ounces and will come vacuum sealed and at a little over $8, it's a great value. I'm going to show you a method of preparing our linen broils so they come out perfect every time. We're going to wrap them in our Wagyu beef bacon and reverse sear them. We're going to keep it simple with salt and pepper on both sides. And it would be best to do this 30 minutes before you start cooking to let those seasonings get to the center. We're gonna wrap these in our beef bacon and our bacon is thin, so we'll put plenty of layers on. We tried using toothpicks but found that using butcher's twine to hold that bacon on worked a lot better and it also helps keep a nice round shape to it. We're going to use our Bluetooth thermometer to monitor internal temp while these steaks come up to temperature in the smoker. We will smoke these at 250 until the internal temperature reaches 125. This could also be done in an oven in the same way. If you decide to use the oven route, it would be best to place them directly on the rack and you can put foil underneath on a lower rack to catch the drippings. Once our internal temp has reached about 125, we're going to pull them and let them rest for a while while that griddle heats up to sear them. The sear could be done on a hot cast iron skillet, it doesn't have to be done on a griddle like this, or a very hot direct heat grill. Any method you use, this should take less than 15 seconds aside, so you do not want to keep cooking the inside of the steak, so it's got to be very hot. The surface temp of the griddle that I'm using is about 500 degrees. This steak really should be sliced thin on a bias and help it um, be more tender. And that's all it takes. We think you really love our London broils and at a price point below a regular ribeye steak we think you'll find that it's, a, it's an incredible value and paired with our beef bacon it really brings it to the next level. This method could be applied to any cut of steak really and it's a great way to get a perfect result every time.